In this video, I'm going to tell you one story. There was a celebrity having huge fans and followers. He used to write blogs on every weekend. One day, he posted his new blog in the early morning and he wished his fans and followers will read the blog and comment on it. But there came a hacker with his bad intention. The hacker decided to comment on the blog post, but the comment was not a simple text. The comment was a malicious script. His comment saved into the server's database like other comments. See, here is the blog post table where all the blogs posted by the bloggers, the blogger's name, at what time and date the blog was posted and the blog. But the hacker commented to the blog and his comment saved into this table. So blog ID 7097 and the hacker he posted his comment which is not a simple text a script a malicious script his comment saved into the server's database like other comments uh, but on the other hand the fans and followers unaware of the threat waiting on their next click they started accessing the blog posted by his favorite celebrity. The server not only shown the blog posted by the celebrity, but the server also shown the comments on the post. Each fan and follower receiving the blog along with the comments posted by the viewer by viewers. And one of the comments was a malicious script. When such response received to browsers of the end user, the browser treated text as text and the tags as tag. The malicious script started stealing data, harming the uh, user's system. Now the JSTL cout with EL comes into the picture. The cout escapes the tags angular brackets. As I demonstrated in the previous video, if such escaped tag base string receives to the browser, then the browser treats it just like a simple text string. This way, the malicious script will never get invoked on any user's system and we can protect crores of innocent internet users from such threats.